What if I told you that you could get a potato waffle that sounded a little bit like a very popular search engine? Yes, we're making Kugels. Waffles. Kugel waffles. Now, our potato waffles are going to be made kind of Kugel style, so that's with flour and egg and cheese, but the flavour of onion bacon is where we start. So smoked streaky bacon, if you yes. want to take half of it and just dice it up into small pieces, we're going to fry that in a pan with a shot of olive oil and a finely diced onion. What kind of potato waffle would we be making if we didn't include potatoes in our potato waffle? Not very good ones, which is why, while we wait for our bacon and onion to crisp up, we're going to peel and grate about 800 grams of potato. And then we need to make them dry because they contain quite a lot of water and my mouth contains quite a lot of words that can't come out. <laughs> so obviously when we've done the washing up, yes. we dry the dishes with a tea towel. So if we need to dry our potato, the perfect, perfect utensil is a tea towel. Get a dry, clean tea towel, and basically, can I grab some of your yeah. wet gratings? Please do. All of that goes into a tea towel over a bowl, and then you squeeze out all the liquid while Jay carries on grating. Don't use this tea towel later to dry your dishes because it'll smell of potato. If you don't get rid of all of this, your potato waffles will be a little bit soggy. And if you want really, really stiff collars on your shirts, yes. I guess you could use the starch. I guess you could. So that's your dry potato. Yes. If you were making something like a hash brown, a little bit of butter, fry it off, job done. This is a kugel and therefore is more bready. Okay. So next in goes some corn flour, four eggs cracked yep. in, and plenty of parmesan. I've gone for the one-handed crack, which I never usually do. It's bold. So the key to a good kugel waffle is to get the ratios of flour to cheese to egg to potato right. All the weights and measurements. Are on sorted food. As always. Mix the whole thing up into oh. a cross between a batter and a hash and a ready mixture. You could just bake this whole thing off in a loaf tin and then slice it later on, but of course, we're waffleizing them. We're going to waffleize them. To finish our batter off, the softened onions and bacon go in, give it a good mix up, and it's ready to cook. Now we're cooking our waffles in this waffle line. We're going to use about a tablespoon of the mixture per quarter, and basically we're going to flatten it out so it's nice, flat, and even. And then we're going to cook it on a medium heat for about 15 minutes. And what we're looking for is basically the steam to stop coming out the sides and a nice crispy golden brown look to the waffles. So like, it looks like a waffle. Like a waffle. Like a waffle. Yeah. And while we're waiting for that, we can also throw off the rest of our bacon into nice little dice to sprinkle on top at the end. This one has come out of the waffle iron and we are going to serve it with the other ones that were warming through in the oven. A generous dollop of sour cream on top. Our crispy bacon, and if you want to just tear over some fresh chives. Job done. And there we go, our potato kugel waffles, awesome for breakfast or brunch, sorted. I thought I'd ask these guys to come in and check out <laughs> our waffles. <laughs> oh, you're great. Get in there. I think normal potato waffles are lacking. Parmesan and bacon. Yeah. That's where they're going wrong. And sour cream. Mm. And needless to say, for this brunch idea and loads more, head to Sorted Food. Mm.